good day everyone welcome to mjc creativity today i want to show us preloading net different types that we have and how to handle it preloading net is a net that we use in making fascinators and we have it in different colors you can see i have peach here i have blue here this is coral color and this is silver white color and also we have it in different sizes you can see the width of this one is around eight inches why we have the width of this one around three uh, to four inches for this one so we have the tiny one this tiny one we use it mostly to make decoration after making a base cap with the big one that's most uh, the major thing that we use this one for uh, so we use this one in making the base cap likewise we can use this one to make the base cap and also to make the design the decoration on the cap it can also serve the purpose of this one and also we have it in plain hand pattern you can see this one a plain plain one and we have this one this is pattern one you can see there are silver lines there also this one silver at the tip this are plain one so when you are buying it sometimes some caps you need you can we notice there's thread at the edge one edge there's no thread here so when you are buying make sure you buy the one with thread because we use the thread to uh, make a cap also so if you don't need it you may buy any one because there are some ones that are big like this without the thread at the tip but the thread is most uh, is useful sometimes so buy the one with thread at the tip like this if you don't need the thread you can remove it it's safer that way to buy the one with thread if you don't need it just remove it um, also so that's that about our crayon in it well uh, to how to handle it if you are not using it just leave it keep it like this don't allow anybody to play with it when you start playing with it the hedge will start loosening and it will waste the uh, net like that likewise we waste the money like that so it will it will start loosening so if you are not ready to use it just leave it somewhere just keep it somewhere and the last thing is when you want to buy it and you don't want, you want to measure it for you probably you want to buy in yards you want to measure it for you don't allow them to don't allow them to stretch it like this when they are measuring it you should just measure like this if they stretch it it won't be complete thanks for watching this video kindly like our page on facebook at majestic crown creations on youtube mjc space creativity on instagram mjc creativity 20 thanks